right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, everybody at Calix, for uh, really great hospitality. We've heard some great speakers, um, great content, and uh, they all have a lot of hair. Um, so uh, I don't. So uh, who is Allo? I'll give you a, a brief, a brief uh, rundown on who Allo is. We started in 2003 in a town of Imperial, Nebraska, we, which has roughly the same population as, well, this room. So we've gone from that startup as a voice-only provider, but always 100% competitive. We've never been an, a, an ILEC or an incumbent cable provider. And uh, today we have 500 employees, excuse me. Um, we cover about nine communities, smallest about 1,400 people, largest Lincoln, Nebraska, which is about 288,000. We do ubiquitous fiber co uh, coverages in each of these towns. Uh, last Friday was a great event. I think we invited 1,100 subcontractors to celebrate the completion of passing 288,000 people in Lincoln, Nebraska with 100% underground uh, service. We are a little different in another way, I guess. Uh, we're, we offer governmental services, business services, residential services, and we go as fast as we can to develop a ubiquitous coverage for our, our networks. Uh, eight communities in Nebraska, one in Colorado. So what I'm asked to talk about today is, being, one, being a disruptor. Uh, number two is, uh, what are we doing with smart home? Um, I'm going to go back a little bit. In 2017, I think it was, maybe it was 16, 2017, Alex went all in, or Allo went all in with 844G, with the Giga Center. Uh, basically, all of our residential customers have it. It was a game changer for us. Great with the Wi-Fi um, and, and changed our business. We put a lot of trust in Calix. Last year at this event, we saw what the sport cloud and marketing cloud was. Once again, we went all in. And uh, today, the sport cloud is making meaningful differences in our company. We can see our net promoter scores move up right when we fully started using Support Cloud. Our CSRs aren't guessing anymore. Yeah, they were educated guesses, but now they're using data. They're, they're getting great information so that they're not guessing. They're saying, here's the solution for your problems. Uh, our first call resolution has increased over 50%. And the best part about our net promoter scores is we've now had to set new goals for our company because we already surpassed uh, our old ones. And in, um, a couple months ago in uh, North Platte, Nebraska, one of our smaller communities, we always win the Internet Provider of the Year. But what was the best part? This year we won the, ser the Customer Service Provider of the Year, all industries. That's pretty incredible for... Thank you. That, that's pretty incredible for a communications provider, and, and I'm real excited about it. So what does 2019 bring? 2019 is about smart home. I'm really, really tired of taking all these, uh, I don't take any of them, our staff does, but uh, uh, of our staff taking support calls and having to help set up the nest. Uh, the ring doorbell, and all those types of things. You see the time that's being uh, taken, and we're not monetizing it. So 2019 and beyond is to monetize these things. And so everything's fast. We're moving fast. We're changing fast. Um, our business model is continuing to change fast. Number one, Lincoln. We came into Lincoln... 100% uh, underground build, again, as a competitor, as I like to say, our first customer costs tens of millions of dollars. We hope the second one comes a little bit cheaper. Um, but we start off with a six or seven year build plan. We figured out that six or seven years doesn't work in today's world. We had to compress it. 
So our team just did an amazing job uh, from start to finish, uh, literally the amount of uh, boring and conduit that would get you from Seattle to Miami. We took that six to seven year build process and got it done in about two and a half years. Wow, that's fast. Um, Fort Morgan, Colorado, the, the town said, hey, we want to have some control. We want to own the fiber. So we changed our model again. We said, yeah, you can own the fiber. But uh, 11,500 people, we started con construction in uh, April of this year. In the next couple of weeks, we'll be done. We're moving really fast. So as, as things change, what is our future model? We've had to change our construction models. We had to change some operation models. Um, support clouds come in. Um, now we have to continue to differentiate from copper and coax. Number one, you know, 2010, you, you saw it start happening. There were various flavors of DSL, and people were saying, hey, don't forget us, we're fast too. You saw fiber become better and better, a, a, a much better competitor. I'm seeing the same thing with coax. Or the demands of our customers, they need the upload speeds, they need the consistency, what Calix is helping us deliver. Um, so our business is having to change. We're not only changing with like the Fort Morgan model, but maybe we'll white label some things. Maybe we'll start outsourcing, uh, hopefully serving some of, uh, of our fellow uh, Calix customers and providers um, for, for some customer service with the smart home. We don't know. Um, Jeff Kenny, our co-founder co of Allo, he's doing some great things with smart city, with um, gigabit cities, how we change autonomous vehicles, how these cities work. We don't know where that's going. But what I do know is the smart home. The smart home is a multi-billion, trillion dollar opportunity, and we've got to take advantage of that. So it's a new business for everyone. Allo's going to take advantage of it. Number one, do we know where it's going? Absolutely, we don't. We are excited about, I, I learned a new uh, term today, Wi-Fi 6. Um, we're testing the device. Uh, we love the Wi-Fi, and we love the opportunities for the Amazon, for the, for the voice controls, and all those types of things. But to, to me, that's just the start of where we're going. This is a journey. We've got to be fast out of the chute. But we've got to make sure that we do this well for the next 10, 20 years. Because this, to me, is as big a change as putting fiber into our communities. So I'm excited. I'm excited about our team. Many of them are sitting up uh, front here. If you see the guys with the aloe shirts on, um, uh, please talk to them. We need to learn as much from you as, as clearly you can learn from us. But thank you, Calix. Thank you for your leadership. We're we're excited, and guess what? We're going all in again. So thank you very much. That's great, Brad. Thanks for coming on up. Let's go over here so we don't fall off the stage. That would be awkward. Um, so one of the promises that we've done with the smart home and business is all around pre-integrated. But you were part of the early adopter program. You worked with us around what we should be including in the... How do you see that as a, an opportunity for speed to market and how you change the way you go to market? Well, we only have 500 employees. Right. Uh, I consider us very small. We can't figure this all out. So we've got to partner with people like Calix. We've got to see what, um, you, basically real simply, we need you to vet almost everything and then ha let us tweak and figure things out, add to the program, and, um, and learn from others. That's really what, what we're after with this program. That's great. Well, thank you very much for your partnership and thank all your you. success. Congratulations. Let's give Brad a round of applause. Thanks, Brad. Mm -hmm.